Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you look at the right of my screen, there is a pop-up which is primarily yet another chat interface that allows you to chat with your large language models hosted by Olama. If I just click on this drop down, I can select all the models which are hosted by Olama on my local system such as 5.3.5 latest and then I can start chatting with it. And then it is going to start replying to me. So this tool is yet another open source tool which is just been created by this creator here and if you just go through its um, repo it gives you a bit more information as what exactly this is this is just primarily yet another chat tool now if you don't know what olama is olama is one of the easiest and fastest tool to run language models locally in a context format Olama is a lightweight extensible framework for building and running language models on the local machine. It provides a very simple API for creating, running and managing models as well as a library of pre-built models which you can access by clicking on this model icon. I already have done heaps of videos on Olama so if you are interested please search it out. And a fun fact Olama stands for Omni Layer Learning Language Acquisition Model. Anyway, so Installation is fairly simple for Windows all you need to do is to click on this download and then click on this Windows Download the Windows X and next 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 it is going to install the Olama I already have Olama installed as you can see on my screen Where I am running three models on Olama which I am getting from Olama list command This is my Windows operating system where I am running one GPU card of uh, 24 GPU of VRAM and but you can run Olama on CPU if the model support such as I think you can try it out this 5.3.5 uh, on the CPU and whatever models are here they will appear on the right hand side in this Olama chat tool which I was referring to so I will also be showing you how you can get it installed locally it is simple chat application built using PyQt6 that integrates with Olama model server that's about it you can interact with the app either by downloading the pre-compiled executable which I will show you and I would recommend that method or even by running it directly from the source. This code base also has few other nifty tools but they are still in making so I'm not going to go there and I would highly suggest that instead of building it from the source code you just download their XE and run it that is uh, what has worked for me on Windows. So in order to download it, all you need to do is just scroll up in this GitHub repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Just click on this releases or latest and then download this exe file by right clicking and then saving on your local uh, system and then double clicking on that main.exe and it is going to run this uh, here. Also, if you have downloaded any other model such as for example, if I go here and I run something like uh, Olama pull and just give it any model name and in order to get the model name go to here in the olama.com click on models and maybe you want to run any maybe let's go with the JAMA uh, 2 one and then let's go with 2 billion one small model copy this Olama run JAMA 2 2 billion from here go here and I'll just maybe I'll just uh, put the pull command with jamma2 the difference between pull and run is pull just downloads it runs also uh, runs it after pulling it by runs mean that it just simply lets you talk with it but i'm just downloading it so you see that it the size is just 1.6 gig and it has downloaded it is going to verify the checksum afterwards so let's wait for it to uh, verify the checksum shouldn't take too long from here There you go. So you see it is now verifying the checksum. So let's wait for it to finish and then we will check it out. And there you go. So the model has been downloaded. Checksum has been verified. Let me clear the screen. And now if you do Olama list, you will see that we have our Gemma 2 billion model here. So if you go back to that Olama chat tool on your right hand side, let me make it darker the background now you see that there is no um, 
gemma to here if you just refresh from here and then you would just have to wait a bit and it is going to show you the new model here so if you click on the drop down you will see that now we have four models here and the newest model is at the top gemma 2 billion and you can simply chat with it and this takes a few minutes to load so if you want it immediately just simply click on this exit on the bottom right here and then double click on the code this one main.exe and then it is going to relaunch it so and you see that uh, one uh, i would say that drawback at the moment which i have found out is that it's slightly slow so you see that now um, it has given me the response i just asked it asked it what is happiness it is telling me all about happiness and you see it has very very well formatted in a markdown format in this window of course you can run it from all among you there are heaps of other tools but this is just yet another option in a different way of course it just pops up here for example you are working on something you on your code or on your website writing some document and you need to ask something from model instead of you know running it pulling it and then you can just simply keep it open this pop up all the time and then from here you can just simply type your question like for example you want to ask it um, how do i make uh, pizza whatever and then it is going to just get the response from the model and give it to you you see that i have pressed enter it is taking long time to run uh, so i think this is one thing that needs to be improved but this is our answer there you go so this is a whole pizza recipe here so i asked it this another thing i didn't find that it will be really cool to change the theme of it because the white is not that much readable plus um, would be good to increase the font of it somehow and then maybe it will be good to clear this screen maybe if i click refresh here that clears it but I would um, really, I think, keen to know how can we increase the size of this box plus how can, especially how can we change the theme. That will be a really cool thing to do. So anyway, um, really happy to see, you know, people are just building their homegrown projects with these open source models. You don't have to pay for any API. You don't have to pay for any other stuff. So really good effort. I mean, by this person um and if you encounter any issues any error just open an issue i'm more than sure he's going to reply so i will drop the link to this in video's description play around with it let me know what do you think and if there is any other open source project which needs love you want me to cover it always happy to help out and it's really always a good to you know appreciate the effort of people who are doing it just out of labor of love just like this channel um despite of the fact that it takes a lot of time lot of resources but you know happy to you know do it for uh, for myself or everyone else so let's learn together thank you for watching if you think that this content is helping you out please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching